Galatians. Let me ask you this one question. Did you receive the Holy Spirit as the result of obeying the law and doing its works? Or was it by hearing the message and believing it? <coughs> Did you receive the Holy Spirit from a law of rituals or from a message of faith? Are you so foolishly and so senseless and silly? Having begun your new life with the Holy Spirit, are you now reaching perfection by depending on the flesh? Then does he who supplies you with his marvelous Holy Spirit and works powerfully and miraculously among you do so on what the law demands or because you are believing and trusting in the message that you heard to the end that through Christ Jesus the blessing promised to Abraham might come to the Gentiles so that we through faith might all receive the promise of the Holy Spirit And because you really are his sons, God has sent the Holy Spirit of his Son into our hearts, blissfully crying, Abba, Daddy, Father. Yet just as at the time of a child in ordinary birth, According to the flesh, despised and persecuted Jesus, according to the Holy Spirit. So it is in now awesome also. We did not rely on the law, but through the Holy Spirit's help, we wait for the blessing and good things that our righteousness and right standing with God is bringing us forward and we are confident of it. But I say to you, walk and live habitually in the Holy Spirit. Walk and live in the Holy Spirit, responsive to the Holy Spirit, controlled by the Holy Spirit, guided by the Holy Spirit. Then, you will certainly not gratify the cravings and desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are opposed to the Holy Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit are opposed to the flesh. These are antagonistic to each other, continually in conflict with one another. So you are not free but you are actually prevented from doing what you desire to do. But if you are guided by the Holy Spirit, you are not subject to the law. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, benevolence, faithfulness. If we live by the Holy Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. May our conduct be controlled by the Spirit. By the Holy Spirit we have our life in God. For he who sows to his own flesh his lower nature, his sensuality, will from the flesh reap decay and ruin and destruction. But he who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap eternal life. That's Galatians. <clears throat>